Well, hello there again and welcome back to my YouTube channel as we delve into the history of more of those classic and vintage dirt bikes from the golden era of motocross here in my world of classic dirt bikes. Now this time round we're going to take a very brief look at a bike that was uh, Suzuki's first ever Evolution Monoshock uh, motocross racer. So we're going to take a look at a very nice 1981 RM 250 Suzuki Evolution machine. Now this 1981 bike is by no means an original machine from that particular year but uh, nevertheless it's a very nice example of what was a landmark race bike for Suzuki. Now for Suzuki this was a very important machine in a couple of ways in that uh, this was Suzuki's first ever bike that featured a modern style single shock rear suspension system. Uh, of course previous bikes uh, to this had the twin shock uh, racing suspension systems. Now also in uh, 1981 Suzuki also introduced its full floater rear suspension system which was considered as the very best suspension system of all the Japanese bikes in this year giving it a whopping 12.7 uh, inches of travel at the rear end. Now also for 1981 these 250 motors were equipped with totally brand new power plants uh, from Suzuki with uh, full reed valve intake systems with new cylinder porting transmissions and uh, uprated clutches. Now the gearbox of course is a 5 speed constant mesh transmission with uh, the gear shifting with uh, one down and then four gears up to select. Now these bikes had a Mikuni uh, VM38mm uh, carburetor fitted which uh, was ideally suited to this uh, 250 two-stroke motor. Now the air filter was of course a foam type configuration in a plastic air box and of course the foam filter could also be washed and then re-oiled and reused uh, multiple times. Now the front forks were oil damped telescopic pneumatic affairs uh, which could be adjusted by adding or removing air from the Schrader valves on the top of the fork legs. Now these front fork legs of course had uh, substantial uh, travel for the front end which uh, enabled the bike to cope with any manner of uh, rough racetrack conditions. But of course this 81 Suzuki was well renowned for this uh, very innovative uh, full floater uh, rear suspension system. Uh, always considered as uh, one of the best suspension systems on any Japanese bike in 1981. Single shock uh, rear suspension with these two links uh, linking the top linkage of the shock onto the swinging arm. Also the remote reservoir for the gas for that uh, single monoshock rear suspension system. And once again, of course, uh, plastic fuel tanks on these 81 machines, as per many of the other big three Japanese manufacturers were using in the 1980s. Now, the tank held around uh, 9 litres, or about uh, 2 UK gallons of fuel. And not the most comfortable seat of a 1980s machine, but nevertheless the uh, Suzuki's seat did the job amicably. Now our feature bike of course uh, looks like it's not still sporting its original exhaust pipe but uh, of course uh, the rear tailpipe has certainly been replaced by this high quality DNG 
aluminium tailpipe. Now, of course, as we mentioned uh, previously, it's uh, this bike is not an original bike from 1981, although it's still sporting many of its uh, period correct uh, components and uh, is still a very nice example of uh, one of these iconic uh, Suzuki's. Now of course the year after in uh, 1982 Suzuki then uh, water-cooled this uh, 250 bike although they already had their previous 1981-125 RM Suzuki as their first ever liquid-cooled uh, motocross machine. Now the RM abbreviation of course on these Suzuki bikes uh, denote that uh, these were titled the racing model of Suzuki's and they were all manufactured as uh, thoroughbred motocross racing machines. But these 81 models will always be remembered for this uh, very unique full floater suspension systems which were of course standard fitting on the 81 250 and uh, 465 Suzuki models. Now of course uh, our feature bike is not a fully original bike from 1981 but nevertheless it's still a very nice example of one of these ground braking evolution dirt bikes uh, from the Suzuki manufacturer. Now don't forget there are some uh, brand new machines lined up to be featured on my YouTube channel in the coming weeks with a fully restored German Kramer, an ultra rare Wilco Moto 500 enduro bike and a pair of very nice uh, PE Suzuki's to name uh, just a few. Now these are all machines that I will be featuring from the Terry Pickering collection. So if you like looking at these uh, types of classic dirt bikes then uh, please continue to browse or better still subscribe to my channel using the red button at the bottom right of your screen. Now once again thanks for uh, taking the time to watch this video and look out for more of the same coming soon. This video was brought to you in association with Worldsport, the world's number one supplier for all your off-road and leisure sportswear. Just visit their online website for more details.